Hello, and welcome to Harriet's Custom Computer Art Plus. Today I've had a request from a subscriber um, to show how I would make a ripped edge. <laughs> how I would make a ripped edge um, because she's making a memorial um, image for a, a shirt, I believe. So I'm going to show you how easily it is, how easy it is to make a ripped edge. You don't always have to make things from scratch. You can Google different pieces of graphics and combine them however you would like to make different images that you can use for any of your projects. So I'm going to show you how I made this image. But before I show you that, I'm going to show you how easy it is after you make it. You'll just save it with the background removed and then you can add a shadow if you'd like. So I saved it and then just added it to this page by going to camera and then I just added the image which is this image and then hit add to the page at the bottom and it will add it to your page that you're working on but I already have it here so I don't need to so I'm going to delete that one and then I'm just going to tap on the image because now it's saved as one complete image go to edit image shadows and choose any shadow that you want you can choose the shadow to the side. And then if you want to adjust that shadow, you're going to tap again. You see where it says drop is has a black or grayish cover over the image. So I'm going to tap that again because those little white circles and lines means that that's a menu where you can make adjustments. So I'm going to go in and I can make that edge more blurred to, to make it look better. I can make it more transparent and all of these things help to improve the image you can change the offset on it where you can make it more offset or you can make it where the shadow is around the complete image i think um i'm gonna leave it about right there i like it being around the whole image but you might like it offset where it's down and to the side and then all you're gonna do is resize that and then put any background you want to use on it. Um, let's see. I'll just use this rose gold. I'm working on a lot of rose gold things currently. So I'm going to use this rose gold background. And I'll just cut out the rest of this. And then I'm going to drop that behind the image by dragging. And now I'm going to go here to position backwards. And just like that, you have your uh, ripped edge where you can use this to make your memorial signs. I see a little chip up there, so I'm just gonna drag that down a little bit so that that disappears. And now you see it with this uh, shiny background and you can also choose uh, this blue background that I found already in Canva. So now let me show you how I made that ripped edge. This is how I would create a ripped edge in Canva. This is a request from, I guess, one of my subscribers, possibly. Um, I would first Google ripped edges. And I saw these. I thought they were some good ones. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of it. I'm on an iPad, but you can be on the computer you do the same thing you just do a print screen i'm going to save it to photos i'm going to go back to canva and i'm going to uh, upload that image of the cut paper i'm going to choose which piece i might want to use i'm going to go with the biggest piece for now but you could go with any one of these so I'm going to take it down to the end of that piece. I'm going to turn it this way. Bring down all these edges by just dragging that little circle, cir uh, the circled edge rectangles. I'm going to resize it to fill up my page or to as far on the page as I want it to go. Then I'm going to go to edit image, remove the background. Once I remove the background, I'm going to hit apply. And then I'm going to duplicate this several times 
I'm going to hit the two pieces of paper with the plus sign in this top little menu at the top of the image. So I'm going to hit tap on that. It makes a second image. On the second image, I'm going to get rid of this side of the corner. Make that smooth. I'm going to tap on that one. Hit the three dots next to the trash can. Choose select multiple image and then select both of those images. Click on done and group. Oops, group. So it makes those one. I'm going to move it over again and I'm going to duplicate that one and bring it over a bit. Then I'm going to ungroup it because I only need one piece so I can get rid of this one in the middle. I need this piece. So now that I have this piece, I'm going to just stretch it back out so I have that other torn edge. Then I would tap on this one that I already have grouped. Hit the three dots to select multiple. Tap on that last piece to include it. Hit done and group. And now you have your ripped edge. So all you have to do is do that with any of the ripped edge you find as long as the body of the image or the middle of the image is the same color. You can uh, choose and use any ripped edge you like. Now if you also want to add an edge, ripped edge at the top, I'm going to just click here on the up arrow in that top right corner and I'm going to, I'm going to choose save image but I want to save it with um, without the uh, background. So I'm going to tap on download. And now here I can save it as a PNG. And you can see that first choice, I can choose transparent background. So I'm going to tap on that. Then I'm going to hit download. Once it's finished downloading, Now it's finished downloading, so I'm going to tap on it, and I'm going to go ahead, tap on the um, outer circle on any of the corners, and I'm going to shrink it down a little because I want to put a ripped edge on the top and bottom of this sheet so that it doesn't look so, so even. So I'm going to go back to my um, camera. I'm going to bring in that same image. Click Add to add it in. And this time I'm going to choose two different edges. So first I'll choose this edge. And I'm going to go once again to edit image, remove background, let it remove the background, hit apply. And now I'm just going to turn this around, move it up to the top edge, and I'm going to resize it so that it goes all the way across. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. I'm going to bring up that same image. I should have just made a duplicate while I had it up already. But I want to use a, the, diff the other piece this time. So this time I'm going to use this middle section to, to make the bottom portion. So I'm going to once again isolate that piece I want to use. I'm going to go to Edit Image. Remove background, apply, and I'm going to drag this one down to the bottom and resize it. First, I want to make sure that I'm meeting both edges, and then I'm just going to bring it down until I have the torn edge that I want. Then I'm going to once again tap on the outer corner for that big piece that I already saved, I'm going to tap on the three dots, choose select multiple. Then I'm going to choose the top piece and the bottom piece. I'm going to choose done and group. And then I'm going to resize this to fill up my page again. And now you have a full torn piece with all four torn edges. So all you have to do is find the torn edge you want to use. Make sure that the center portion is all the same color and you can make any torn edge you like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. 
If uh, you'd like to be notified the minute I have a new tutorials, hit the bell. And don't forget to put a thumbs up if you like this tutorial. This has been, a, I believe, a subscriber's request. I'll see you next time.